This is Heather Mack for GetYourRockOut.com and we're here with Andre from Lacuna Coil. Hello. Hello, how are you doing guys? I'm okay, and how are you today? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. We just did a lot of photos and uh, been traveling around the city, looking at the, 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 we've been to the town hall and, you know, visiting and working a little bit. Nice. Excellent. So, a very busy day for you today. Always. I mean, Manchester and London are always crazy busy between interviews and press and people come and say <laughs> hi. And, you know, it's, it's always the same. Every big city in the world yeah. where we go, it's always like that. You know, <laughs> LA, New York, it's the same. <laughs> so, you got your new, uh, in January, your new album, Dark Adrenaline, came out. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been touring all across the world with it. Uh, how are you finding the, re um, the reception to the new album? It's been pretty good because we kind of accomplished the, the very hard task to make happy both the new fans and the old fans, yeah. which is very hard for the <laughs> bands to do, you know, especially when you try something new like we did on the previous record. It's always hard to, to keep calm you know, and say, okay, we try something because we, we want to evolve the music of the band, but that doesn't mean we're going to change or we're not going to keep our atmospheres or our signature sound, you know, so it's, it's an art test, but I think we did it pretty well with the last album and that's why we're seeing at the concert now back some of the old school fans as well as the new kids that just came on board with the latest two, three releases, you know. Excellent. So, talk us through your creative process when you wrote the, the album, um, the meanings of the lyrics to yourself and the rest of the band. Yeah, basically Marco, the bass player, is the main composer for the music and once he's done he passed the demos to me and Christina and then yeah. he, sometimes the other guitar players they gave him ideas that he then turns into songs. And then we come and we meet all together, Mark has a little studio in a basement, like a home, very small home <laughs> studio. And we work there all together, me, Christina and him, we all bring our own ideas and then yeah. we work them together, we see which ones are, are better, which ones are more convincing and then it doesn't really ma matter who have wrote the part, you know, yeah. we really try to change it a lot and to just start with the idea and then see what voice is going to fit better with the part you know sometimes Indeed. Christina has a very different voice than mm -hmm. what I have so if it's more of a metal heavy powerful chorus I'm going to sing it if it's more of an epic uh, high <laughs> pitch kind of vocals is Christina doing it you yeah. know so we can play with a lot of different kind of sounds you know and that's basically that's the way we work we work together then we pre-produce with the producer we are going to the practice room and and adjust all the drum parts, all the arrangements with the other guys, then yeah, they come in for the lead guitars, the, all the arrangements for the guitars, and they all worked in the studio mostly. And then we, we finish with the vocals, and keyboards are just the last things we do in the studio. Ah, right, okay. Yes, because we kind of play with the keyboards after we have recorded the vocals, right. so you can make some special s sounding notes, yeah. you know, that are going to eat the right spot with the <laughs> vocals. So it's, uh, it's quite a, a long, con I think we need at least six months be yeah. between the, the moment when we start brainstorming for the lyrics and for the songwriting and then the moment when we say, okay, it's done and we go mm. to the mixing or master. It's usually six months at least. Where do you find your inspiration for the ideas that you come up and the lyrics that you write yourself? Well, lyrics, we all, always like the topics that have, we've been experiencing mm. in our real life, you know. Yeah. So usually if someone in the band has the... The, maybe the worst moment, like he went through a lot, and mm. it's probably the best person to have ideas from the lyrics, you know. Because if I don't, if I have been in a very quiet moment of my life, very happy, and yeah. then probably I don't have many topics <laughs> I wanna, many topics that are fitting with our yeah. kind of darker yeah. style, you know. So it, it doesn't matter who, but it matters that we we really lived it in a yeah. way, you know. We really feel it, and we don't like to talk about stuff that we don't really. No, you know, like politics, we know about <laughs> politics, but we don't know enough to, to be a band like Rage Against the Machine, for example, yeah. where they, when you want to talk about politics, you really need to be very well informed and well aware of the history of politics. So it's a very complicated topic to, to touch and it's not, Definitely. our music doesn't <laughs> even appeal to that because we're way more melancholy and, yeah. and more about the, the feelings of life, you know, and, not, and politics doesn't have all those feelings it's for me. It's good that you, you know? can draw your personal Yeah, it's good for some bands, songs. you know, it's just yeah. not what we are, yeah. you know. So we are rather, and, and same for topics like fantasy, I mean, I like fantasy, but it's not something I would talk in the lyrics, you know, for us yeah. lyrics have been has to be more personal and, okay. and about the, 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 the real life experience. Yeah. Yeah. 
and get the emotions and the feelings behind yes, it. Yes, that's why it, it goes with the music. Mm. Yeah. Um, so talking about you, both you and Christina, obviously put the lyrics together and also sing together and the different parts on stage. Do you feel that your voice has changed over the last few albums from obviously when you be began? I think so because we singing with such a talented singer as Christina it helps me challenge myself, you know. Okay. And then when I started, I was just a screamer, and then yeah. I, I improve and I try to put more of the vo singing kind of yeah. voice, even still kind of distorted because it wouldn't it's wouldn't really style. make sense for us to, to have two complete <laughs> clean vocals, you know, because we already have it from Christina. So I'm there to to put more of the you know, the, the, the kick of, of a yeah. rough voice for the certain parts of the songs, you know, so that's why we like to keep it different. But, <laughs> but I also, I think there are more singing along with my parts now than, than before, you know. Yeah. So I, f I definitely see an improvement like, in that, yeah. An evolution of the singing. Evolution, yeah, yeah. exactly. So you've been together 15 years, and yes, be 15 easier. years next year for the fir for your first it's release. Actually. For your first release, oh yeah, first release, which yes, your EP yes, was 1998. Yeah. So what really sticks in your mind over the last 15 years is? It's been really fast, to be honest, <laughs> because because we've been doing so much yeah. and so many things that we never expect to be possible when we started. You know, to reach this level of yeah. popularity and being able to to live with the music and to okay. to travel around the world. You know, it's something that. It could have been a dream, but never really, we never thought that we could actually make it one, yeah, especially yeah. coming from Italy, you know, it's not very famous for rock metal bands, you know, becoming some international success, you know, something very recent, yeah. it never happened before, so it's, it's been a, a great journey, journey you know, it, whether you count the record you sold or the concert you played, mm. no matter what, it's still a great journey, journey most of all, you know, yeah. because it's, it's a unique experience for us that we, we really never expected to happen. You know? <laughs> so it's been a lot of learning, a lot of growing up as musicians, as businessmen also, because you have to learn all <laughs> the things, deal with on, lawyers, yeah. deal with accountants. And mm. sometimes we do more meetings for the business side of it <laughs> than what we do for the artistic side, yeah. because there's so many taxes to pay and stupid things, the bureaucracy and stuff like that, that you have to take care. You know? yeah, that has Otherwise to you go broke very easily. You know? So <laughs> it's crazy, but it's been a unique journey for sure and then hopefully we we still have the will to, to keep going to keep you know Definitely. bringing our music in different places around the world and and we, we still we're not tired of writing music mm. and and try to, to go somewhere else with our yeah. music so until we will have that special fire that push you to to mm. write a song and have the people okay. listen to it and hear their opinion and have them singing along with you from stage then there will be a reason for us to be a band, you know, yeah. and to keep going. Once we we won't feel that anymore, and we will just oh, we have to write another album, you know, <laughs> and there's nothing to say, and that probably we should change our jobs, you know, and try to. Oh, that doesn't try to find something else. <laughs> no, so far, <laughs> no, so, carry on. <laughs> so far we we're, we're happy with what we have. Yeah, so I believe that congratulations are in order for September. Oh yeah, and thanks. You got <laughs> married. Yes. <laughs> um, do you find it difficult being so being on the road for so long, and how do you cope with being away, especially now that you're married as well? It, and I know you've been together for a long time. Yeah, I, mean, I think we've been learning how to manage the. Yeah. Even if every time you leave, it's <laughs> always a drama, you know, because <laughs> because it's never you never get used to feelings, you know. So no. when when you have feelings and you and you have to get separated. You always yeah. suffer a little bit. Then, of course, you know how to handle a month or two <laughs> on the road, and you know both parts know how to yeah. how it is, you know. But still, it's always new when you do it for the mm. first time. Then, on, along the way, you you know how to tolerate it and to make it work. You know, I think it's on one hand a good thing is that when you come back, you kind of find that you've been choosing to stay yeah. with this person. You know, you have been waiting for this yeah. person. So. It's it's kind of positive for the it's relationship. Lovely. Sometimes people just get bored because they're on the couch every night. And, you know, what you've done uh, today? I've been in the office. Uh, and you've got lots to talk about you, then when you and get then you back. And you watch TV, and that's <laughs> it. You know, you don't have much to. While being far, you realize more how much you care about the other mm. people. You know, even for the family, it's the same thing. You know, yeah. for your parents, you you realize how much they've been important for you and how much you can miss them. You know, so I think it helps you have a different kind of point of view on your life in general, the fact that okay. you're away so much. Sometimes it's a little too much, you know. Yeah, but, but, long time. <laughs> but we kind of learn through the years how to manage yeah. it, you know. 
Oh, well, congr- definitely congratulations, Thank and you. I hope it continues <laughs> to go well. So, um, not long now till you, uh, there's 70,000 tonnes of metal. Yes. Uh, how are you feeling about playing on a cruise ship? <laughs> it will be interesting. I mean, we, I've never been on a, I've been on little ferries, but yeah. never on a, a full cruise boat, you know. So, it'll be interesting. Is going to be not only the shows, because I think we've just played a couple of shows, so it's yeah. not many shows, but... There will be a lot of interaction and contest w- mm. with the people and uh, karaoke and <laughs> interacting. So it should be fun. I mean, uh, there are all the um, elements out there to be a fun experience, you know. So we'll see. We'll see in January. Uh, we're going to do that and probably then we're going to start a, a North American tour again. All right, lovely. Are there any bands that you're looking forward to catching while you're on, on that bit? Um, I know some of them. I, I for sure want to see In Flames yeah. because they're our awesome. brothers. We've been growing <laughs> together. We right. used to be on the same management and oh, yeah, and we course. toured together. So yeah. we know the guys since many years. <laughs> And Dragon Force are going to be there, so we tour with them as well. So yeah. we know we know a lot of the people that are going to be there. But I'm sure there will be some new interesting <laughs> band or some old band that I haven't checked for for a long time. So it'll be interesting, I'm sure. It'll be nice to catch some different bands yeah. out there. And uh, finally, what's the next step for Lacuna? I think now we're going to finish this tour. And uh, end of November we'll be home. So it'll be on for a couple of months before yeah. the, the cruise. And we're probably gonna ride a little bit. Okay. Stay home, enjoy yeah. home, and also start riding a little bit, collecting some ideas for the next album. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for taking time out your busy day. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on stage later. Yep.